Rubber Shoe Train. Written by Lee Chun Hee. Illustrated by Park Ji Hoon. Choo choo! Puff puff! A train passed by a village near the riverside. Yun Su and Yun Mi, who were building a sand castle, stopped to watch the tail of the train for a long time. Yun Su, I wish we could take the train and go to Grandma's house. Don't worry, I'll take you there. Really? Yun Mi clapped with joy. Yun Su and Yun Mi began digging up the sand and then hardened it to make a long train track. Yun Su, are we really going to ride on the train? Yes, just trust me. Yun Su squeezed the back of a rubber shoe into the front of another rubber shoe. Wow! It's a train! A rubber shoe train! You're just like a magician! Yunmi was so amazed with her older brother. The black rubber shoe train ran along the sand railroad. Thump! The rubber shoe train came to a sudden stop. What happened, Yun Su? Yun Mi looked at Yun Su with her big surprised eyes. There's something in the sand. Yun Su put his hand into the sand and took out a big black rubber shoe. Wow, it's a huge rubber shoe. Yun Su, let's use this one to make a longer train. Yun Su attached the huge black rubber shoe to their rubber shoe train. I am the driver of the world's longest rubber shoe train. I am the assistant of the world's longest rubber shoe train. Yunmi shouted after her brother. Now let's go! Choo choo! Puff puff! The rubber shoe train ran smoothly along the sand railroad. Oh, watch out driver! It's so stony over there! Skid! Don't worry, assistant. We just have to change the shape of the car. See? Bend it like this and put it in like that. Yunmi stood in awe as she watched her brother's hands move. Ta-da! Now we've got a truck. Wow! You are the best! From now on, you have to start calling me driver. Okay, driver. Could you please teach me how to make a rubber shoe truck? Hulk Hulk, get out of the way, old truck. Minkyu came out driving his new white rubber shoe truck. Get out of the way, you dirty black rubber shoe truck. What? Did you just say dirty black rubber shoe truck? Yun Su made a tight fist. He got angry at what Min Q said. You're just as weak as your white rubber shoes. Min Q's white rubber shoe truck broke down as Yun Su hit him with his black rubber shoe truck. Yunsu! Yunmi cried out. Please, don't fight. 
Yunmi said as she pulled the two boys' hands together. Let's make a rubber shoe truck together, huh? I... I'm... sorry, Yunzu. Minkyu said shyly. No! No! I'm... sorry. Yunzu said, also smiling shyly. Yunzu and Minkyu put their black and white rubber shoes together and made a new truck. I, I have, have never seen such a cool truck in my life! The children shouted with lots of joy. Vroom! 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 Uh-oh! What's wrong? Yunsu began scratching his head as he could not start the truck. I think there are too many things in this truck. Minkyu, the assistant, shouted at Yunsu. Okay, let's take the things out of the truck. The children began pouring out sand and stones out of the rubber shoe truck. Vroom! 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 Hey, driver! Look over there! Why, Assistant Minkyu? There's a river! So we can't go there by truck anymore, can we? Yunmi was worried. Let's try to go as far as we can. Yunsu carefully kept driving the truck. Oh, look! There's a flowery rubber shoe! shouted Minkyu. There was a girl's rubber shoe floating on the river. Oh, how pretty! It's a flower boat! Yeah, yeah! The children shouted as they jumped into the water. Float, float, float! Let's ride on this flower boat all the way to the sea! Yeah! yeah. This time, I'm the captain. Minkyu shouted as he raised his arm high up. Then, I'm the vice captain. And I'm the assistant. Look at all the fish, Yunzu. Yunmi shouted. Look! A Korean rose bitterling. And that one is a Chinese paradise fish. The children splashed around in the water, chasing after the fish. The river was turning gold with the evening glow. Yunsu! Yunmi! Mom came to the river looking for the children. Here you are! Mom, when are we going to go to Grandma's house? Yunmi asked as she hung on her mom's arm. Why do you ask? Do you miss your grandma? Both Yunsu and Yunmi nodded. Then Let's make sure to go and visit her before the summer is over. The children and their mom slowly walked away from the river.